All right, guys, so AC coupling. What is it? How does it work? Why is it cool? Uh, all these questions are questions I get a lot. Um, and so I'm just gonna go over what I have set up here today and uh, show you kind of what it is and how it works. All right, so as you can see here, I have a solar edge inverter. So this is a grid tie 10 kW inverter. Um, so with this inverter, if the power goes out, this inverter shuts off. It's grid tied, so it can't backfeed a dead grid, which is a safety feature that all grid tie inverters have to have. Um, so that kind of sucks because I have a ton of solar on my south facing roof. Um, I have 10.9 kW on there, and when the power was down before, uh, I didn't have any way of using it. Um, so then I had a separate system uh, that had, uh, I had some panels on my north facing roof, not ideal, but it worked. Um, but it was completely separate, so there was still no way of using this large solar array when the grid was down. So then in comes the Solark. Uh, Solark is capable of AC coupling, um, and so what that effectively does is it provides a microgrid to my, my load center, so to both of them actually. Um, so grid's down, and right now I have the grid breaker turned off. So effectively the grid is down. Um, so it provides power to this load center right here by this breaker. And it's 60 hertz, it's smooth, pure sine wave. Um, and then it tricks the solar edge inverter into waking up. Um, so you can see right now, well you can't see, but it's producing 1740 watts. Um, and it says 243 volts and the frequency is at 60 hertz so the solar edge inverter thinks hey the grid's up and running great i'm going to start producing power um now over to the solar um it is currently charging the battery at 1.1 kw actually i'll turn off this Turn off the DC coupled solar here. Um, so it's charging the battery at oh, just over a thousand watts. So, and this one's producing 1700 watts. So that means my house is using about 700 watts. Uh, and the excess power, instead of, you know, just being wasted or this thing not working at all, the excess power is going backwards through the solar and charging the battery. So that's all well and good. That's cool. That works. Great. However, what happens when the battery's full? Uh, and so there are other inverters out there, uh, namely the Sigineer or Ames brand, um, that apparently can AC couple. They can take power in through the output and charge a battery with it. The problem there is, is that they can't shut off the grid tie inverter. Um, and yes, there's ways around it. You know, you can put in a relay or something controlled by a, a certain voltage and it shuts off and that's great. Um, but I can't do that in people's houses where I'm not tinkering with the stuff all the time. So the way that the Solark does it, um, is it will actually shift the frequency up to around 61.5 Hertz. Um, and what that does is immediately when the frequency goes out of spec for the solar edge, it shuts off. It says there's a fault, there's a frequency error, and it shuts right down. Um, the cool part is, as soon as the solar senses that the battery is down to you know 90% or something, then it shifts the frequency right back to 60 hertz. Solar Edge waits five minutes, turns back on, starts powering everything again. So, the the other cool thing is when so when the uh, solar edge inverters producing power during the day, you know, the battery's charging, um, you can run a lot more stuff than you could, you know, with just the, the Solark. Uh, so the Solark is an 8KW inverter. Um, it can take surges, you know, it can go up to 8,000, 9,000 with surges, um, and then, and then some for brief surges. But um, you know, occasionally in my house, we use more than that. Uh, we have an electric dryer. We have a bunch of other electric appliances. We're mostly electric in the house. Um, and so occasionally it will go over that. Um, so when this, so say the solar edge is producing 8,000 Watts, 
the uh, Solark can put out another 8,000 watts. So I could technically use 6,000 watts, con or 16,000, sorry, watts continuous in my load center because the Solark's feeding here, Solar Edge is feeding here. So everything in between there could be up to 16,000 watts. Now, if I'm, you know, pulling that amount of power and a cloud comes by, then it'll overload the solar arc pretty quickly. But uh, it's really cool that you're able to do that. So typically where we do AC coupled systems is in a retrofit application. Um, I have done a couple of them off grid, uh, you know, using like a Sonnen battery or something that's got a built in inverter. Um, it's got batteries, everything. It's kind of an all in one system. But it's not, it's not great for an off-grid system. I mean, it's, it's efficient and everything, but uh, it's, you're still going to cycle, cycle your battery more than you would uh, with uh, a, a straight DC coupled system. So you have a charge controller going to your battery and then you have your inverter. Um, and the reason for that is because you have to, the, the, the solar edge has to shut off when this battery gets to... 95 98 percent but then it has to go back down to you know 90 percent or 92 percent i think it might even be 90 percent is is where i can turn it back on so you're gonna get that five to eight percent cycling it's gonna you know it's gonna go up it's gonna shut off the solar edge go down back up down back up down back up and you kind of see that saw throughout the day um, depending on how much power you're using so that's why i mean it's not it's not an amazing solution for for off-grid um it's cool that you have excess power that you can use you know if you need it but for a true off-grid system uh nothing beats a dc coupled system in my opinion at least so the neat part about the solark is that it can do ac and dc coupling at the same time so right now charging at 2.5 kw and then if i turn that switch on you see on the left side there, um, I just turned the solar on. So that is the DC coupled array that's on the north facing roof. Um, and so that'll go up uh, up to 180 watts right now. It's first thing in the morning, so to be expected. But uh, it can do both at the same time. So awesome. And then I'll show you uh, turning the dryer on. Uh, so the dryer is an electric dryer. I think it's about 5,500 watts that it pulls. Uh, and so you'll be able to see that uh, number on the right. That'll switch from uh, going into the battery to coming from the battery. So just like that, we're pulling 3.1 kW from the battery, um, and uh, the rest of it's coming from the, uh, the solar edge, which is producing about 3,400 watts right now. So. All right, guys. Well, I hope that was a good explanation of AC coupling. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. And... Uh, by the looks of it, my channel's kind of starting to grow now, so I would love it if you guys would hit the like button, subscribe, um, comment, you know, spread the word. Uh, I'm loving doing these videos. Uh, I don't have a lot of spare time to do them, but um, trying to do them whenever I can. So thanks for all the love, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.